Hey yogis, this channel focuses on longer classes to challenging poses. CC's gonna be taking a bit of a break. My name's Christian, I'll be taking you through your flow today. We're gonna be focusing on a bit of the hips, so working on the hip girdle, some mobility, and strengthening the outer hips and a bit of the glutes. So when you're ready, let's get started. So we'll get started today just laying down on our backs. Once you find yourself in a comfortable position, go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together. Don't put any engagement into it quite yet. You just want to spring the heels towards the hip bones slightly, and after you feel like your outer hips are wanting to turn on, let the inner thighs rotate outwards, and just start to find control to your breath. Maybe you bring one hand to your belly, one to your heart. Allow the eyelids to close. Take a big breath in. And let it go. We'll do two more like that. Big inhale. Exhale it out. Last one. Inhale. Exhale it out. Now from this point on, seal the lips. And still audibly exhale out the nose. Just building some inner heat in the belly. Now go ahead and extend your left leg forward, pushing through the heel mount, and bring your right knee into your chest without using your hands. You want to engage that right hip flexor. Think about your thigh coming towards your rib cage. Take an inhale here. Then as you exhale, push your heel straight up into the ceiling. Think about lengthening the back of the leg. Take an inhale at the top. Now as you exhale, you're going to open your right leg to the right without letting your left hip follow. You want to isolate that right hip. Take an inhale here. Now as you exhale, you want to hover your right heel as close as you can to the mat until it comes all the way towards the top of the mat again, meeting your left. Inhale, knee into your chest. Exhale, push through the heel. Inhale at the top. Exhale, open your leg like a book. Keep your left hip pushing and looking upwards. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your heel forward or meet your left. One more on this side. Inhale, thigh towards the ribcage. Exhale, push through the heel. Inhale at the top. Exhale, open up. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your heel all the way forward until it meets the left. Now let your right heel touch the mat. Bring your left knee in towards your chest, thigh into the rib cage. Big inhale. Exhale, push through your left heel, lengthen the back of the leg. Inhale at the top. Without your right hip moving, let your left leg open up to the left. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your left heel to meet your right all the way forward. Inhale, knee into your chest. Exhale, push through the heel. Inhale at the top. Exhale, open up. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your heel all the way forward. One more on this side. Inhale, knee into your chest. Exhale, push through the heel. Inhale at the top. Exhale, open up. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your left heel to meet your right. Beautiful. Now you're going to bend your knees, plant the soles of your feet down onto the mat. Think about bringing your heels to stack underneath your kneecaps, close to the hips, and just about the width of a block in between your inner thighs. You don't want your legs to touch. Now I want you to apply pressure in all four corners of your feet. Feel the inner, outer arch of your soles press down, heel and the balls of the feet, without putting the weight into the toes. Take an inhale here. Now as you exhale, I want you to push your hips up towards the ceiling, opening the front of the hip flexors. Find that length. Now keep pressing into the ground. You want to feel like the floor underneath you is being broken with the feet. Now as you inhale, lower your hips just to hover. Keep pressing into the feet and as you exhale, push your hips back up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, lower halfway down. Take an inhale here. Exhale, push up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, lower the hips to hover. Inhale here. Exhale, push the hips upward. Now keep the hips high. We're going to take it a little bit further. Shift the weight into your left foot, but keep pressing into the inner arch. Keeping the weight there, bring your right knee into your chest. Don't let your hips drop. Inhale here. Exhale, push through your right heel and straighten your right leg. Keep your hips open. As you inhale, lower your hips to hover. Exhale, push your hips straight up. Keep your right leg long and active. Inhale, lower to hover. Exhale, push it up. Inhale, lower. 
Exhale, lift. Now bend at your right knee, bring your right foot to meet your left. Now one vertebrae at a time, you're gonna roll your spine all the way down to the mat. We're gonna switch sides here, notice slight engagement into the outer left hip. Now shifting the weight into your right foot, feel the inner arch press down. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bring your left knee into your chest and push your hips straight up towards the ceiling, opening up through the front of the right hip flexor. Inhale. Exhale, push through your left heel. Keep your left leg long and active like the sole of your foot is parallel to the ceiling. Inhale, lower your hips to hover. Exhale, push your hips up. Inhale, lower to hover. Exhale, lift. Last one, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Now bend at your left knee, bring your left foot to meet your right. Now one vertebrae at a time, roll your spine all the way down. Feel your low back push down into the mat. Now one knee at a time, bring your knees into your chest. Hug the outsides of the shins. Slightly round to the upper back and just rock left and right, massaging the spinal column. Now you're gonna begin to rock forward and back. And get enough momentum to make your way into a tabletop position. Plant your palms in front of you, swivel your legs behind you, we'll end up on all fours. Now from tabletop position, we wanna press firmly into the palms, wrap your triceps in towards your rib cage so your elbow tips are pointing straight back. Feel the pressure into the tops of the feet. We're just gonna start with some basic cat-cow, just finding some functional mobility into the spinal column. So with the shoulders down the back, we wanna find length in the side body as you inhale. Let your pelvic bones start to tilt upwards as the belly drops. Chest goes forward, chin goes high, open the front of your throat, big inhale. Exhale, chin into the chest, round through the upper back, pull your rib cage up and pull the navel up. Feel your hips go forward. Inhale, belly drops, pelvic bone tits, tilts. Chest goes forward, chin goes high. Exhale, chin into the chest, round through the upper back, pull the navel up. One more like that. Inhale, peel it forward, one vertebrae at a time. Exhale, round it out. Now come back to a neutral tabletop. Think about flattening the spinal column, length and out through the crown of the head with the shoulders down your back. Now we're gonna prime the outer hips a little more here. So I want you to bring your right knee towards the outside of your shoulder. And then you're gonna lift the inner ankle up. Think about a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Feels a little awkward, I know. Now we wanna keep that inner ankle high. Keep your hips squared and chest facing forward. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, I want you to straighten your right leg out to the right. Then lift the inner ankle a little higher. Hold for three, two, one. Bend at the knee, big inhale. Exhale, last one, straighten through the right leg. Keep your chest forward, big inhale. Three, two, one. Bend at the knee, bring your right knee to meet your left. A Little bit of a toughie. Now shift the weight over to the right side. I want you to bring your left knee to the outside of your left shoulder. Again, think about that dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Lift through the inner ankle. Big inhale. Keep your chest facing forward, straighten through your left leg. Three, two, one. Bend at the knee, big inhale. Exhale, straighten. Three, two, one. Bend at the knee, bring your left knee to meet your right. Outer hips should be cooking. Keep the weight into the palms. Now I want you to curl the toes underneath one foot at a time. Hover your knees off the mat just about an inch so the shin bones are parallel to the mat under you. Keep pushing away from the mat, protracting through the upper back. Now we're gonna engage our abdomen a little bit more here. I want you to pull your hands towards your toes and push your toes towards your wrists like you're trying to wrinkle the center of the mat with a pulling action. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Lift your hips up and back. Make your way into your first down dog. Now take any sort of intuitive movement that you'd like here. Pedal out the feet, sway the hips. Alternate straightening one leg and then the other. Now in our down dog, let's engage a little bit here. So I want you to put the weight into the insides of the palms. So your weight may be into the pinkies, maybe the ring fingers. I want you to put the weight into your thumb, pointer, and middle fingers. Now squeeze your hands towards each other, squeeze your forearms towards each other, and keep wrapping your triceps underneath you. Now with your armpits and chest moving like one unit, push your chest straight back into your thighs. Pull your navel up, hike the tailbone high, and then push your hamstrings into the wall behind you, lengthening through the Achilles. Now you're gonna walk your hands back towards your toes. Now because it's early, separate the feet as wide as you need to. For me, I need to go pretty wide. 
enough to where you feel the heels press down into the mat. Now we're gonna turn on the outer hips even more. Now as you inhale, I want you to let your knees buckle in towards each other, just about a quarter of an inch, just a little disengagement of the hips here. Now as you exhale, I want you to push them out away from each other, feel the outer hips turn on. Inhale, let them come in slightly. Exhale, push them out. Inhale, let them come in. Exhale, push them out. Two more. Inhale, let them come in. Exhale, push them out. Inhale in. Exhale, push them out. Now keep that engagement there for five, four, three, two, one. Plant your palms, walk them back out to the top of the mat, come back into a down dog. Now shift the weight over to your left foot, press the inner arch down as you inhale, sweep your right leg up and back. Keep the hips squared and leveled. Now without opening the chest, I want you to bend your right knee and open up your right hip. Think about your right kneecap pointing straight up and then lengthen your right hip bone back in space without your left armpit descending down. Keep your chest leveled. Inhale, square off your hips, straighten your right leg again. As you exhale, I want you to shift forward, bring your right knee into your chest, around through the upper back. Big inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna step your right foot underneath your left armpit, out to the right. Now instead of opening up here like we usually would, I want you to keep your chest facing forward. Now as you inhale, I want you to descend your right hip down towards the mat, as low as you can get it. As you exhale, your hips are gonna go up and back towards the back left corner of the mat. Inhale, shift it forward, outer right hip starts to come down. Exhale, shift it back. One more. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, shift it back. Hold there, three, two, on one. Inhale, shift it forward, knee into the chest. Exhale, step your right foot to the top of the mat. Now lower your back knee down. Release the curl of your back foot and lift your chest, coming into a low lunge. Now we wanna find some engagement in the hips. So first we're gonna start off by pressing into all four corners of our right foot. We really wanna feel the inner and outer arch press downwards. Now with the right heel, I want you to pull your right heel under you without your foot actually moving. You'll feel the back of the right leg start to turn on more. Now press into the top of your left foot and then push your left knee forward to meet your right heel like you're trying to wrinkle the space in between both of your legs. Feel that pinching action. Keep your legs there, extend the arms up without the rib cage flaring forward, pull your navel in, hold for five, keep the squeeze. Four, three, two, one. Plant your palms, curl your left toes underneath, pick your left knee off the mat, and step your right foot back to meet your left. Inhale, shift it forward, shoulders past the wrists. Exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog, your choice. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, sweep your left leg up and back. Keep the sole of your right foot planted firmly without your chest opening up. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Left kneecap pointing upwards. Lengthen that left hip bone back in space. Keep the heel squeezing in. Inhale, square off your hips. Exhale, shift it forward, left knee into your chest, round through the upper back. Big inhale. Exhale, step your left foot out to the right. Outer blade comes down, chest and hips try to face forward. Now as you inhale, your outer left hip starts to descend. Exhale, lift your hips up and back towards the back right corner. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, up and back, back right corner. One more, inhale, shift it forward, outer left hip comes down. Exhale, shift it back. Now as you inhale, shift it forward again, knee into your chest. Exhale, step your left foot to the top of the mat. Lower your right knee down, release the curl of your back foot, lift your chest. Small little movements, but as you can see, it's a bit challenging, already breaking a big sweat. Now same engagement from the other side, I want you to push your right knee forward, left heel back. Feel that squeeze and pinch so the front of your right hip flexor and your left hamstring engage. Feel that squeeze, extend the arms up. Find that length. Five, four, three, two, 
One, plant the palms to frame your left foot. Curl your right toes underneath, right knee comes off the mat. Left foot steps back to meet your right. Plank pose. Tuck your tailbone forward, inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, lift your hips up and back. Find your breath, down dog. Now we're going to keep the blood flowing a little bit more here. So as you inhale, bend your knees, lift your heels. Exhale, step, hop, or float to the top of your mat. Now as you inhale, halfway lift your chest, shoulders back, chest forward. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, extend the arms all the way up towards the ceiling, get tall, reach out through the fingertips. As you exhale, palms to your heart, squeeze your core. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, chest towards your thighs. Inhale, halfway lift, chest forward. Exhale, plant the palms. Plank pose as you exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, lift your hips up and back. Down dog. We're going to do two more of those. Feel free to move at your own pace. You don't need to move with me. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your heels. Exhale, step, hop, or float. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, extend up through the fingertips, stand tall. Exhale, palms to your heart, engage your core. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, chest forward, shoulders back. Exhale, plant the palms, take a vinyasa. We'll do just one more of those. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your heels. Exhale, step, hop, or float. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extend the arms all the way up. Stand tall. Exhale, palms to your heart. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Vinyasa. Find your breath in down dog. We want to keep the hip bones reaching back. Keeping the length of the backs of the legs, lengthening out. Moving right along as you inhale, sweep your right leg up and back. Exhale, bend your knee, open up your hip. Keep lengthening that right hip bone back in space. You're going to think about that right side body getting long, the front of the pelvic bone lengthens. Inhale, square off the hip, straighten your right leg. Exhale, shift it forward, just step your right foot to the top of the mat. Now we're going to keep our left leg long and keep our back knee off the mat. Now allow your chest to rest on your right thigh for now. Just taking a little bit of a break. We want to turn on that outer hip. So we're going to squeeze our right hip in towards the left one. So don't let it sway out. You want to hug that bad boy in. Now with your left leg, you want to find length. So think about coming a little higher onto the ball of the back foot. And think about pushing your left hamstring upwards towards the ceiling so it gets long and active. If I were to push your left leg down, it would be as firm as a pillar. Now you have the option of keeping your back knee down if you'd like. These are both just options. Now keeping your legs as they are, keep the weight into the right foot without your hips swaying out. You're going to extend your arms forward and pull your belly off of your right thigh. Think about hovering your abdomen off of your thigh. Now shift forward a little more and come higher onto the back foot. Big inhale. Now on the exhale, how slow can you step your left foot to meet your right? As your left foot lands, chair pose, bend your knees, drop your hips. It's a big cooker for the outer right hip. Feel free to straighten the legs at any point. Pedal them out if you need to. Now in your chair pose, 
You want to keep the inner, the inner arches of your feet squeezing in towards each other. And then notice this deep tilt that you might be having in your low back with your rib cage flaring forward. See if you can tuck your tailbone down towards your heel bones so your hips kind of do this little thrust forward, just lengthening that low back. And then drop the hips just a little bit lower. As you inhale, shift the weight into your left foot. Feel the inner arch press down. As you exhale, stand all the way up on that left leg. As you stand tall in the single leg Tadasana, your right thigh is actively coming in towards your rib cage. So you want to feel that right hip flexor turn on. Like you're trying to knee yourself in the chin without compromising the opening of your left hip. You don't want to do this little tuck down. Try to stay tall and active. Now keep that length out through the rib cage. Take a big inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to lean your chest forward as you swivel your right leg back. Coming into a warrior three. In your warrior three, if you need to put a little bend into your left knee, do so. Feel the inner arch of your left foot seal down. And then if your right hip is swaying open, do your best to get that right hip to spin downwards to meet your left. I know the outer left hip is cooking. We're almost there. Big inhale. As you exhale, you're going to slowly step your right foot back to me, to the back of the mat. Now lift your chest, crescent lunge. Again, you have the option to put your right knee down to the mat. Find your breath. Big inhale. On the exhale, plant the palms, frame your left foot, step your left foot back to meet your right. Inhale, shift it forward, exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, down dog. Find your breath. Inhale, sweep your left leg up and back. Exhale, bend your knee, open up your hip. Lengthen that left hip bone back in space. Keep opening up to the front of the pelvis. Inhale, square off your hips, straighten your left leg. Exhale, shift the forward knee into the chest and step your left foot to the top of the mat. Now allow your chest to rest on your left thigh for now. You want to squeeze that left hip in, so don't let it sway out. Hug it in. Keep it on. Then lengthen your right leg. Push your right hamstring up towards the ceiling. Let it long and active. You don't want to be able to let it drop unless you're putting the back knee down, which is an option. Now keeping that leg long, keeping your left hip squeezing in, you're going to extend your arms forward and then take your belly off of your left thigh. Now lean your weight forward a little bit more. Put all the weight into your left foot. Big inhale. Exhale, slowly set that right foot to meet your left. Chair pose. Now again, notice that anterior tilt that you might naturally be in. You want to tuck the tailbone down towards your heels, rounding through the low back. Pull your navel in. As you inhale, shift the weight into your right foot. Exhale, stand all the way up on that right leg. Feel the inner blade of your right foot keep sealing down. Let that outer right hip stay on. Bring your left thigh up into your rib cage. Take a big inhale here. And then as you exhale with a little bend into your right knee, lean your chest forward, extend your left leg back. Feel free to bring the fingers down to the mat if you need to. Try to keep the hips squared and keep your navel pulling up. Almost there. Take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly step your left foot to the back of the mat. Lift your chest. Crescent lunge. Keep your right, try to keep your right knee stacked on top of the ankle. Keep your rib cage from flaring forward, rather push your rib cage back. Feel how it lengthens the front of the left hip. Keep that left leg active. Take an inhale in. Exhale, plant the palms, step your right foot back to meet your left. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, lift your hips up and back. Down dog. Take a big inhale here. 
Now as you exhale, bring your knees all the way down to the mat. Sit your butt back onto your heels. Now separate the knees about the width of the mat, enough to where your torso can fit in between the inner thighs. Then extend the arms forward, child's pose. Just here for a brief little intermission. Now in your child's pose, you wanna think about your hips being pulled behind you. So if someone is grabbing your hip bones and pulling them back, feel that length going backwards while the torso is going forwards, just finding some more length in through the rib cage. Big inhale, fill it up. Make an audible exhale. Inhale, take your breath all the way to the top. Exhale it out. One more inhale. Exhale it out. Bring some pressure into the palms again. Plant them firmly. Shift your weight forward. Curl the toes underneath. Pick your knees up off the mat. Lift your hips up and back. Down dog. Moving along, inhale. Sweep your right leg up and back. As you exhale, shift it forward. Bring your right knee into your chest. Engage your right hip flexor a little more. Bring your thigh a little higher. Protract the upper back just a little bit more. Big inhale. Exhale, step it forward. Now same engagement from earlier. Squeeze that right hip in. We wanna keep that outer hip engaged throughout the rest of our class. Really focusing on those hips today. Big inhale here, fingertips are planted. Now as you exhale, crescent lunge, lift the chest. Again, you wanna keep that rib cage from doing an exaggerated flare forward rather. You wanna push your rib cage behind you like you're trying to puff out the back ribs, right? Feel the left hip, the front of the left hip lengthen. Maybe you bend just a little bit deeper into that front knee. Take a big inhale here. Now on the exhale, we're gonna open up for warrior two. So you're gonna spin your back heel down to a 45 degree angle. Open your chest to the left. Keep the deep bend in your front knee. Right arm goes forward. Left arm goes back. Now notice if your right hip swayed out as you made that transition, you wanna squeeze that right hip bone back in, keeping that outer hip engaged. Now shoulders down your back. Take your shoulders away from the earlobe so we're not compressing the area, rather finding length. Then actively reach your fingertips for opposite directions so the shoulders stay engaged. See if you can put the weight in all four corners of your feet, but can still wiggle your toes. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Keep the bend in your front knee, but your right arm goes up and back. Feel free to rest your left arm on your left thigh. As you exhale, keep the reverse to straighten your right leg. Give your outer right thigh a little break here. Keep lengthening the right side. Big inhale. Now as you exhale, put a deep bend into your right knee again. We're gonna come into an extended side angle. So your right forearm either comes to the top of your right thigh. Rest it there, keep your right hip squeezing in. Chest is open to the left and your left arm goes up towards the ceiling. There's option one. If you wanna take that a little further, you can split the arms like a T, bringing your right fingertips down to the inside of your right foot or plant the palm. If you wanna take option three, you can bring your right arm underneath your right leg for a full bind. Left arm goes around the back, binds with the right arm. Whatever variation you take, as long as you keep the outer hip cooking, I'm happy. Now from the extended side angle again, we're gonna reverse our warrior, right arm goes up and back, keep the bend in the front knee. 
Now as you exhale, straighten through the right leg. Keep your right hip bone reaching back in space and start to reach your right arm forward towards the wall in front of you. Keep lengthening forward as the right hip keeps going back. Eventually finding your triangle pose. You want to keep that right hip squeezing in towards the left one. Either bring your palm to your right shin bone. You can bring your palm to the inside of the leg down onto the mat. You can bring it to the outside. Really you want to keep that right hip engaged with the left arm. Reaching up towards the ceiling. In our triangle pose, we want to make our left arm go a little longer so that right arm gets a little lighter and we're not sagging here. We want to find length in the spinal column forward. Now on your next inhale, put a deep bend into your right knee. I want you to plant those right fingertips in front of your right foot like a tent. Really feel the pressure into the finger pads. Now start to shift your weight forward high onto the back foot. You're going to step off your back foot for half moon. Now feel free to modify this as much as you need to. If you need to put a block underneath your palms to stand taller. If you need to keep your hips open but both of your palms down. Whichever you prefer. Maybe put a deep bend into your right knee. Whatever works for you here. We're just here for a brief moment. Keep finding that length, keep lengthening your right side body as much as you are the left. Big inhale. As you exhale, bring your left palm down to meet your right. Now square your hips off. With both of your hip bones facing down, lengthen your left heel bone up towards the ceiling for standing split. Now some of you may lift your leg high, some of you get it to a 90 degree angle like me. But you want to keep that chest pulling forward, lengthening your left heel upwards. Inhale, halfway lift your chest, put a little bend into your right knee. As you exhale, you're going to bring your left foot to meet your right. And then fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Step it back, plank pose. Bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, down dog. Now we got one more side, and then we're done with our standing sequence. Now on your next inhale, sweep your left leg up and back. As you exhale, you're going to shift it forward, bring your knee into your chest, round to the upper back. Now bring your thigh even higher, and turn on that, out that hip flexor. Big inhale. Exhale, step it forward. Now again, same engagement from the other side. Squeeze your left hip in towards the right one. Keep your left leg long. Take a big inhale, exhale, lift your chest, crescent lunge. Push your rib cage back, feel the front of the right hip lengthen, almost like your tailbone is tucking down and forwards. You might have your right leg shaking, you might bring your right knee down. Feel free to modify. Big inhale. On the exhale, open up warrior two. You're going to spin your back heel down to 45. Chest opens to the right. Now your right arm goes back, left arm goes forward. Now you want to keep that outer blade of your right foot sealing down. Keep your left knee pushing into this invisible wall on the left side. Keep that outer left hip squeezing in. Now shoulders down your back again. Fingertips reach away from each other. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Now on the exhale, keep the reverse. Give your left hip a break and straighten through your left leg. You can keep your right leg, arm on your right thigh. Big inhale in this reverse. As you exhale, extended side angle, bend deep into that left knee. You either bring your left forearm to the top of your left thigh, split your arms like a T, or take a full bind if you took that on the other side. Whatever you do, just keep squeezing that left hip in so it's not swaying out towards the left, rather pushing in towards the right. Keep the bending your front knee, inhale, reverse your warrior. Left arm goes up and back. Now on the exhale, straighten through your left leg and begin to reach your left arm forward as your left hip goes back in space. Feel that length through the back of the left leg. Either bring your palm to your shin, the inside of the leg, outside of the leg. 
Right arm goes up towards the ceiling. Lengthen your right arm higher so that left arm gets lighter. Then keep squeezing that left hip in. Now on your next inhale, put a deep bend into your left knee. Plant the left fingertips in front of your left foot. Now shift your weight forward into your light on that right foot. Take an inhale here, press into your left foot. As you exhale, step off your right foot. Half moon. Feel the inner blade of your left foot seal down. Again, if you took any sort of modification on the other side, take it again on this side. We're almost there. Keep lengthening out through the right leg. Inhale, micro bend into your left knee. Exhale, bring your right foot to meet your left. I'm sorry, square your hips off to each other and bring your right palm to meet your left. Standing split. Now keep the side body and the chest reaching forward. Keep the hips square. Keep lengthening the right heel bone up towards the ceiling without your right hip opening. Inhale, halfway lift. Little bend into your left knee. Exhale, right foot meets the left. Fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift the chest. Exhale, plant the palms. Step your feet back to the back of the mat. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, lift your hips. Up and back, down dog. Now that we're done with our standing sequences, we're gonna to start to wind down. I know most of us are stoked on that, I know I am. Now as you inhale, sweep your right leg up and back. Now on the exhale, we're gonna go right into our half pigeon on the right. So the outside of our right shin bone comes down towards the top of the mat. Put your back knee down. Now, in our half pigeon, most of us are gonna to try to open our left hip open to the left side of the mat. You wanna to try to keep your hip bones squared and pointing forward. That way we're not impinging into our low back, but rather we're keeping that length into the low back. So with the hips facing forward, we'll start to lengthen our left leg behind us a little more, actively trying to keep our left quad parallel to the mat underneath us. Then you can either keep your toes curled underneath, you can put the top of your foot down. Now if this is enough for you, and you want to keep your fingertips, keeping your chest upright, fingertips planted, stay here. If you want to put a blanket, a block, stacks of books, whatever works for you under your right hip because you can't quite get that right hip down and it's kind of lifting like so, do it. If you want to take this a little further, keeping your hips squared off, you can start to walk your hands forward one hand at a time, finding that length. Now we're going to find this little micro engagement. You're not really going to be able to see it, but rather feel it. So our right hip is going to start to pull back behind us. See this slight little movement. Our left hip goes forward, right hip goes back. Keep that length, maybe you fold over the shin. into any sort of specific area, or even the hips in particular, we really want to try to mobilize the area first. You want to think of the muscles like a rubber band. Now if you were to put the rubber band into a freezer and then try to stretch it when you pull it out, it's going to shatter. So what we want to do is we want to warm it up, lubricate the area. So we mobilize, warm up the area, strengthen it, let it turn on. Now we cool down, we let the juices flow, we let the fascia tissue open up, find new ways to flow through and connecting to our breath, really trying to find and slow it down.
We're almost there. Now start to plant the palms, straighten through the arms, lift your chest. Now we're going to curl the right toes underneath, we're going to pick our left knee off the mat, and then we're going to sweep our right leg up and back, and we're going to shake out the right leg. Then when you're ready, your right foot's going to meet your left, back and a down dog. Now as you inhale, you're going to sweep your left leg up and back. Then on the exhale, we're going to go right into our half pigeon on the left. Again, bringing that outer left shin bone down, bringing our back knee down. Trying to get that outer left hip down, so if that needs, you need to put it on a block, stack of books, again a blanket, whatever prop you're using. Try to get that right thigh bone to rotate downwards. Keep your hips to face forward. Take any sort of modification that you need. Whether you fold over the shin, stay upright. Most of us have a tighter side. Obviously for me, this is my tight side. I like to stay upright until I'm comfortable. I want to try to keep my right hip squaring off with the left one. Try to maintain that connection to your breath. you're ready, plant the palms. Again, same thing we did on the other side. Press them firmly straight into the arms. You want to curl the right toes underneath. Pick your right knee off the mat and sweep that left leg up and back, shaking out the leg, letting everything go. Bring your left foot to meet your right. Big inhale. Then on the exhale, you can either jump through to seated or you can just put your knees down onto the mat. Sit your butt back onto your heels. Shift your weight into either side of your hips and swivel your legs out in front of you. Once our legs are out in front, we're gonna scoot our hips to the top of the mat. So your butt toward your heels, bending the knees. Now reach your arms forward, round through the upper back. One vertebrae at a time, we're gonna roll our spine down. Starting from our low back, let each vertebrae touch until our upper back comes all the way down. Now once our spine is down, we're gonna lengthen our left leg forward. So push through your left heel, keep the left leg long. Bring your right knee into your chest. Now with your left hand, I want you to touch the outside of your right knee, plant the palm to the outside. Now before we go into this twist, I want us to find the shape of our right arm first. So whether that's straightening the right arm or bending it to a 90 degree angle, I want you to try to press the back of your right shoulder firmly into the mat. 
Now, once the back of your right shoulder is pressing, now we're going to start to bring our right knee towards the left side of the mat without the right shoulder lifting. So really finding that twist. Now, if you have the space, it's in your practice, you can either stay here or with your left hand. You can grab onto the outside of your right foot, holding onto the outer blade, and then straightening through that right leg. Once you find whichever variation you'd like, you want to think about lengthening that right hip bone downwards, making that right side body even longer. And then maybe you bring your gaze to the right. Take an inhale and a twist. Then as you exhale, you're gonna slowly come back to center. If you have the outside of your foot, release it, bend back into the right knee, slowly rolling your low back down into the mat. Now push your navel down into the mat. Think about flattening your low back, neutralize the spine. Keep your right knee into your chest, bring your left knee in to meet the right one. Once your left knee is in, I want you to push your right heel forward, lengthen your right leg, open up to the front of the right hip. Now you're gonna bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Think about the palm flat onto the outside. Now before we take the twist here, again, find the shape of your left arm. So either straighten through the arm, bend it to a 90 degree angle, whatever you prefer, keep the back of your left shoulder down as you take that twist to the right. So you're gonna bring that left knee towards the outside of the mat. Now, if you took the straight leg variation on the other side, take it here, grab the outside of the leg, or the outer blade of the foot, and straight into the left leg, pushing through your left heel. See if you can maintain length through the right leg and keep your left hip reaching downwards towards the top of the mat. Take an inhale in your twist. Exhale, slowly come back to center. Push your navel, your low back down into the mat, neutralize the spine. Then bring your right knee in to meet your left. Now once both knees meet each other at the center, you're gonna reach through the insides of your legs and hold on to the outsides of your feet. Now notice, naturally for some of us, our low back wants to come up off the mat. So the sacrum, that bony part of your low back, don't let it lift, rather seal it down. Push the low back down. Even push your low belly down. Keeping your sacrum pressing down, 
I want you to bring your knees towards the outsides of your shoulders. Keep them reaching behind you. Start to bring the soles of your feet to stack on top of the kneecaps without your low back lifting. Now think about pushing your knees straight down into the mat. Feel how much more the hips open up here. And maybe even pull your shoulders back and press your shoulders into the mat. Maybe you alternate straightening one leg and then the other. Whatever variation you want to take here. Take an inhale. Exhale, gently bring the soles of the feet towards each other, bring the knees towards each other, inner thighs come in. Hug the outside to the shins. Give yourself the big squeeze, maybe bring your chest towards the tops of your knees, make yourself a little ball. Maybe you rock left and right, maybe you rock forward and back, maybe you take circles. Whatever you need to do to give yourself some love. Then when you're ready, Release your upper back and shoulders back down. One leg at a time, extend them forward. Find length, keep the heels pushing forward, finding length through the spinal column. Really finding that length. Then when you're ready, you're gonna release engage in the legs. So let the toes point away from each other, inner thighs rotate out. Release your palms by the sides of your hips. Let the palms face upwards. Shoulders down your back so the chest and the collarbone is broad and lengthens and opens. Gently close the eyelids, take a big inhale in. When you've taken your breath to the top, sip in a little more air. Hold it there. Open mouth, exhale. Release all control of breath. Corpse pose, Shavasana. Now you completely have the option to stay here a lot longer if you'd like. If not, start to bring awareness back to the body. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Bring control back to the breath. One knee at a time, bring your knees into your chest. Hug the outsides of the shins. Then, when you're ready, roll off to a fetal position on either side of your mat. Then from the fetal position, slowly press the palms into the mat. Start to make your way up into a seated position. Cross your legs, maybe sit on a block. Whatever feels comfortable for you here. Shoulders down your back, sit upright, close the eyelids. Bring your palms to your heart. Thanks for practicing with me today, yogis. Namaste. Hey, yogis, thanks for moving with me today. Hope your hips are burning. If you want more long, challenging classes, click on the playlist right here. There'll be plenty of options to choose from.